so I know I'm like hammering this Ned former cheating thing to the ground and stuff like that, but it's because more stuff keep coming. So this is going to be like an update. So we're going to go into this starting off with Twitter Chronicles part three. Or should I do a part two of part two where I actually include the YouTube video where I saw somewhat of their chemistry? I'm going to just try to... Th th this is going to be a Twitter Chronicle Chronicles part three because, yeah, let's just get into it. The hypocrisy of the Ned Fulmer cheating scandal isn't just that he made my wife hard eyes his whole personality but that he tried to turn his family into a lifestyle brand the cookbook the target partnership the diy decorating stuff making money off his marriage while cheating Ooh, right right he wasn't just doing those cooking videos and showing off his kid for nothing like bro bro he did all that on purpose because to be honest with you, like with the showing off kid thing, many couples do it, you know, and some others, they they keep their kid off the internet for privacy sake because they're a kid and you don't want to make money off a child, right? But he was making money off the entire family dynamic. It's just, it's, it's pitiful. This person says, I'm genuinely been hoping they've been phasing Quezzy into, uh, am I saying it right, Quezzy or Queezy? And as a try guy, Quezzy is, hold on, let me show you this guy right here with his oh nice oh this is gorgeous he has a lot of old school photos right here i'm just scrolling through but i think this is him yeah yeah i think this is him he should be a try guy Ooh, my voice is also kind of giving out as well i don't know why oh uh, that's nice that is real nice. But that's what he left. Anyway, back to the man. Now, this person was saying how they were hoping they replace the... Get, get Quezzy to replace, like, eventually take Eugene's spot. Since Eugene has been getting plenty of opportunities, they kind of thought that Eugene was going to opt out of Try Guys eventually. But yeah, but if he replaces Ned, it'll be all the better and Eugene may stick around longer. That would be... That would be so great. Oh my gosh. They're saying, for the record, while Alex is undoubtedly facing personal and professional fallout, in my opinion, that doesn't need to happen in the public eye. She is not the one who used her marriage for content and built a career on being a devoted spouse. She's also not an owner of the company. See, yeah, Ned has more shit on the back of him, you know? Like, oh, you know, it's like public shame and shit it can really lead a person down a dark road so that's why even with ned yeah he a cheater i don't want him to like off himself because of this you know i want him to actually do right by people he claimed he loved you know and with alex her even participating in this knowing he has two kids a wife bro and a brand she didn't care she didn't care she just wanted fun she didn't give a fuck she didn't even think that kiss would be all that you know she thought it would just be funsies and stuff like that. She didn't consider how backbreakingly terrible it would be to participate in the bullshit he wanted to do. So yeah, it is mostly and mainly his fault. However, don't be don't, don't it's still her fault too. But yeah, they were saying whatever consequences she faces are between her and her friends, family, and coworkers. Whereas Ned, a figurehead for and representative of the um parentheses wholesome family friendly food network partnered brand broke public trust that's gonna have more public consequences it just is N Ooh, not only that another person said but also the fact that his cheating and overall inappropriate behavior even towards fans has been going on for years now right under our noses and other members were well aware of it this whole situation is a disaster it is okay so this is on reddit this person right here they had many other tweets about how basically they met the Try Guys in a bar and Ned was hitting on one of their friends and he was literally like handing out backstage passes, like offering backstage passes and like offering to bring them back to the hotel. Like, And when they were dancing, he was talking about grinding all over them. I had to find it later. But yeah, the fact that Ned was doing that and the other guys knew. This was years ago. So he's been doing this for years. That is, that's insane. It's like he's still in his college era or his high school era. 
This person said, as someone who's met all of them in a club or bar setting, this doesn't surprise me whatsoever. That was being really weird towards my friend and trying to get her to dance on him the whole night. It's like, wait, really? Do you happen to know when this was? It does have to be exact, just like rough estimate, i.e. this month, 2017, earlier this year, etc. This person said, just went back to my pictures with them and it was June of 2019. God, it's been three years. It's been three years, and he's been doing this for three years during one of their tours. I remember asking Keith if he's always like that, and he said yes. Yeah. It was just really off-putting, and he tried getting us to come back to their show in the next city, too, with our six passes. So, yeah, um, Ned has always been a hoe, as we see. Just a straight hoe. This is a straight hoe. Yes, this is my fourth video, I think, on whether or not Ned did all this. It's just the fact is that I feel bad that I ain't pick up on it either. Like, a lot of us ain't pick up on the fact that he been doing this and stuff like that. I feel like I should have, like, been do this, you know? Like, I felt like this should have been called to attention and been happened. Like, him being exposed should have been happened. The fact that it didn't occur, it's upsetting. Mm. Don't forget that we're going around to universities presenting healthy relationship seminars. Oh, oh that's... That's awful. I found out about this today, and this is still so wild. Like, even before the mess, they would they self-appoint as experts on the subject. Oh, God. The bias says this is that Alex also cheated on her fiancé with Ned, but only Ned is the focus. Yeah. Ned was Alex's boss. He has a wife and two children. Be fucking for real right now. Like, no, because yes, 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 yes. Ned is the main focus. Because he honestly did more damage cheating. He did way more damage. Now, if Alex also had a kid with her fiancé, then yeah, hell yeah. Oh, oh, they're both trash. They're both trash anyway. But it's the fact is that you went to you went to Las Vegas. They, I don't think they normally are in Las Vegas like talking with. They went to a club just to do this stupid shit and hang out, right? Just to hang out, kiss and have fun, right? Y'all don't have true love for each other. Y'all don't really care about being in it. Like, they said it's a consensual relationship. Is it really a relationship? Or did y'all just want to fuck? Like, what was the point in all this? If you wanted friends with benefits, you could have at least found somebody. Like, you could have at least broken up with Ariel. Like, you know, sign off for a divorce. Because he can afford it. He can afford a divorce. So can she. And just gone with his party and stuff like that. It's like he gets off on the thrill of, like, being married and being able to fuck anybody he wants. It's so bad. <laughs> it's it's terrible. Like, that wasn't actually me laughing. That's me, like, trying not to cry. <laughs> trying not to cry. Uh, yes, this. And it was never, we're a great team. Always, Ariel is a great wife. I mean, he'd be telling the truth if I'm be honest with you. That's the that's the most truthfully things he's done said. That's not a word, truthfully. It, well, it is a word, but still, I didn't say it right. He that's the most truthful thing he said was that Ariel's a great wife, and that's why he'd be like my wife Ariel, because he knows she's an, she's basically a fucking angel. If I'm be honest with you, but then the ones who are gonna get the most damage from them for this, if the kids were any older, this would be very damaging to them. Um. The good, I would say the greatest thing is the kids aren't old enough to comprehend what's going on. <laughs> you know, like, but it's gonna be bad when they get older. Yeah. But Ned was the one getting all the recognition and accolades for doing the bare minimum of saying he lives, he loves his wife. He bright, right? People were mentioning how he basically is the least funny and least talented i feel like he picked up on cooking just to be interesting because baby girl he was not beforehand he still kind of isn't um and clearly they wanted to get caught they were doing it in place like they is yeah it's like they got off on the thrill of voyeurism type shit it's nasty it gets worse i checked their website recently oh the date night oh let's read this mess the date night cookbook ned and ariel fulmer now available mm -hmm, from the Try Guys. Now let's read it. For Ned and Ariel Fulmer, cooking together has always been a love language. And now, with gorgeous photos and 10 years of never before heard dating stories and relationship tips, they're putting it all on the table. With recipes for simple night and staples like third date pizza or Netflix and chill, as well as luscious specialties like Ariel's favorite lemon salmon. 
piccata, ooh, or Ned's chocolate souffle. Ned and Ariel know better than anyone that delicious food is the cornerstone of any good relationship. Y'all niggas are lies. <laughs> Y'all niggas are lies, bro. Ah, uh, the best thing that was said in this entire paragraph was the lemon salmon piccata. Oh my gosh. Organized by relationship stage from single and dating to meeting the parents to to long term commitment, the date night cookbook will quickly become a favorite resource for everyone. <sighs> fuck off. <laughs> like, actually, fuck off. Can't wait for him to write a biography on how cheating ruined his life and profit off of it. He probably will. That's no Ariel should write a book about basically having to keep in all the hurt she's been feeling from constantly being told, probably by the other try guys, that she being cheated on by her ugly ass husband. Uh, oh my gosh. How did he have all those things? And I've literally never heard of the try guys until today. I'm very online trademark and have no clue. You probably didn't have a BuzzFeed face, which is a good thing, I think. Yeah. <laughs> You deserve every bad thing people say for it. You make yourself seem like a wholesome, safe person and cheat. You deserve all the consequences. Cheating is not a victimless crime. Both parties are equally morally disgusting and abhorrent, in my opinion. Shame on both. Both. Like, both trash. Yeah. Like, with cheating, I feel like it is the most... I, I, take, I had a comment about this. It's the top tier, most selfish thing you can do in a romantic and committed platonic whatever like relationship like you know especially in a marriage what was the point in getting married if you still aren't out of your hot girl phase ned is just going through the biggest hot girl phase he's ever seen like you know he's like oh yeah my dick still works so i'm just gonna keep <laughs> leading with it it's like dude stop and then I'm going to keep having babies with my wife, even though I'm still trying to get girls into a hotel with me and probably catch something so I can give it to my wife. Like, girl, get out of here. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, all he did was kiss Alex, but think about it. A few more drinks, he could have ended up sleeping with Alex, you know, and seeing how Alex is so okay with kissing him in public with his cameras in a club, you know, she probably would have gave him some, 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 some. It's just gross, bro. Like, why? What, what? What's wrong with y'all? You know. And it's not gonna be on no bullshit. You can help who you're attracted to. Okay, yes, you can. Yes, yes, you can. You can help who you're attracted to. You can, you can stop your urges, bro. What the fuck do you need to get neutered? Like, what the hell wrong with you? You, you want to screw everything in sight? Ugh. That's what it is. Not like wanting to screw everything in sight because that's what narcissists do. And then when they are caught, they will blame everything else. Else. It'd be interesting to see what else we learn. I agree, and I hate when men like this get ooh, get caught cheating. I hate when men like this ooh, get caught cheating and then come out and say, what I need to focus on is my wife and kids right now. What matters most right now is my family. You didn't think about that beforehand. Uh, sweetheart, were you thinking that when you were balls deep in your way? Oh, shit. We don't even know if they screwed. All we saw was a kiss. Then again, they could have done something extra. Ooh. Honestly, I feel like the purpose of his statement was just to put out their consensual relationship before anyone accuses him of anything. Yeah, I feel like that was the only reason he even did it, was just to tell everyone, like, hey, like, admit it for once that he actually did cheat. Because normally, I you wouldn't think he did. There's no way he was kissing her in public without knowing it would get out. He didn't give a fuck. That's one thing is he wanted that to happen. I feel awful for Ariel and their sons. Me too. So tired of New York of white men succeeding despite their obvious limitations. Ooh, personally, those are the ones who are going to cheat the most because people think he's a great husband for making it his personality. Yeah. Ooh, red flag. I don't think I'm a big fan of the real crime is the money he made. Sleeping with an employee is the big no-no here. If his wife isn't cool with it, then that's sad, but definitely between them. But yeah, sleeping with an employee should get you fired, and it did, period. I didn't say it was the worst part, just that it was hypocritical, and the hypocrisy is clearly part of what is upsetting many fans, in large part because Ned, and to be frank, Ariel, literally sold fans their happy marriage via books, products, etc. Yeah, sadly. Mason that he's a Yale graduate. <laughs> I'm sure he actually loved her before the fame and money. God, this sucks all around for Ariel. Yeah. Apparently on a podcast, Ariel said he was hitting on her friend and only shifted focus when he realized she was interested instead. What? And she married this man? What? 
he didn't even want you first. He legit only got with you because you wanted him and then he started noticing it's like he wanted just to be with anybody is he okay is he okay it seems like he just wants to be loved like the idea of like getting with someone and loving up on someone is he all right like i don't know we just left for a wife a guy oh my gosh oh my gosh i can't oh lord it happens over and over and over and over and over and over. The male feminist, the male family man that goes out of their way to present that image to the world is a dog in private. It happens over and over and it isn't by mistake. Ooh. As a man, I could say some of these guys, in fact, probably do an extent believe some of what they say, but it just doesn't align with their behaviors. It isn't something they've truly internalized to that degree. Damn, y'all smart as hell in these. All right, I'll be right Oof, y'all gotta see this early one. Sorry, but imagine being the girl who randomly ran into Ned from the Try Guys at a Harry Styles concert. And their selfie is now a key piece of evidence in this. It's Phoenix Wright levels of clownery. Tell it, baby. Tell it. Ooh, imagine that. Oh, no. Nah, nah, nah. That's craziness. I couldn't. I could not. Tell you know how many people say, I thought the Try Guys were friends. Shouldn't they try to work through this instead of firing him? I don't think you understand how bad the optics of boss cheating on wife with subordinate looks both morally and legally. Right, people, y'all really want um the rest of the Try Guys to be fighting for Ned to stay? This dude chose to fuck up, y'all. He can't, he can't stay. He gotta go. Consensual workplace relationship is the skeeziest thing he could have included in there. He could have just said, yes, you know, I did choose to be in a relationship with my coworker. That That's that's a easier way to say it than consensual workplace relationship. I guess he just wanted to hammer in like, yes, both parties wanted this and not just Ned manipulating Alex. Because people think Alex is really young compared to Ned. I don't think Alex is that young. Like they be saying it like Alex is 25 when she's not. <laughs> so it's like, you know, I have no wish to the Simpsons he is, but you oh. Great. Okay, great. Everybody online made up these people called the Try Guys, and they're all pretending they've known about them forever in order to trick me. What? Y'all crazy. Getting my ass out, just been smiling. Yes, girl, smile. Keep smiling, baby. Okay. Uh, this net former cheating stuff better be Try Guys try getting canceled. Try Guys try faking drama online. No. Oh, if only, baby. If only you knew. <laughs> Oof, what is this? The irony's not lost to me. Dating a married guy. Ooh. Ooh, people are pulling up from the woodworks with this stuff. That's crazy. Yes, one thing we need to remember when talking about the Try Guys and their former situation, especially in regards to Alex, is that he was her boss. This is not cut and dry cheating. There was inappropriate power dynamic here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can agree. I can agree with both that they, it's like the way some of these people word it, it's like they make it seem like Alex had no mind in it at all. When in actuality, she did. She probably enjoyed the fact that she was over here kissing on her boss as kind of like a, ooh, oh my gosh, this is so naughty type of shit. Like, you know, people are like that. You know, she probably liked the fact. She probably felt powerful her damn self. Like, I don't know. Like, okay, no man wants a woman who we don't care. Ooh. People, ooh. <laughs> the most damning part of the Ned Try Guys cheating rumors is why be on following Ned and Alex on Insta. No, because I think earlier in the video, I think I mentioned, not earlier in this video, but in another video, I mentioned YB, uh, or Twitter mentioned YB unfollow both Ned and Alex, which should have been a clear giveaway, because why would she unfollow both of them? you know if there was actually no issue at all she she really the type to listen only to rumors what if this never actually happened and she still did it like then it would show like she is the type to listen to rumors but she knew she knew and yeah once it was finally confirmed once it was caught in the act i think what the last straw was she probably knew ned would be in a hoe but it was the last straw when he was a hoe with someone she was close with and her friend chose to be a hoe as well remember that even though we love internet drama the answer is not for us to try to message or comment on the try guys members employees and extended families social medias especially ariel ned admitted it 
Eat his ass up in the cold retreats. Believe everyone else alone. Right. Right. Eat their ass up. Fuck him up. But what even would the motive be? Like, one's got a happy marriage. The other was literally engaged and had YouTube videos on the channel about it. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it either, okay? I don't. I don't. Ned's apparently been a cheater for a very long time. He was apparently creepy to some girls in a club trying to get them to grind on him and him inviting them back to his room. It's like he's never, it's like he's never satisfied. Why, why get a wife if you're never satisfied? Like, what, what's going on, sir? Well, that and the literal image of them making out and him being clearly edited out of all the new videos. The evidence is damning. This is 100% real. Photo all I knew about was a blurry ass video. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't even tell that um, Alice was wearing jeans in that one. I think she was wearing the same outfit she was in that pink shirt and jeans. I couldn't even tell she was wearing jeans. So I was just like, that couldn't be her. And then, yeah. I think it was a video, but I only saw a screenshot of it. Personally, I truly believe that obviously looks like Alex and Nick kissing. They were in the same clothes in another picture at that same party. No, actually, yeah. The lighting will confuse you. Yep, it's confirmed. It's embarrassing. I would divorce him and get half of everything plus some period. Ah, oh, that's what they should do. Dang. Yes, you got all three. Damn, imagine that. Damn. He ruined his own life. How do you do that? It was so easy. I'm really invested in the drama surrounding a guy who looks like this. Really? <laughs> oh, God. A lot of people telling me this is the wrong guy. It is the wrong guy. I do not care. Damn. Mm. Let's not forget what they tested their testosterone levels. Oh, I forgot they did that. I absolutely obsessed with the gay one having the highest testosterone level. We love a manly Eugene. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Ned has the least testosterone. Bro, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. Oh, that just tells you who's bottom of the barrel to begin with. Why is everyone mad? A self proclaimed try guy tried his friend's wife. What? Wrong guy, you're thinking of him. Sex pest? Affiliation cheating? Position unemployed? Damn, people are dragging this man through filth. Soon to be ex husband. Date of birth, June 5th, about 10. Damn, why you know all this? Hold on. Place of birth, the streets. Oh, oh not 1900s. I didn't even catch that. Oh, I just now caught it. Oh, gosh. Did you from that photo? He looks like he should be in the wiggles. What in the world? Does anyone remember the cheating scandal with this guy? Very funny stuff. It just happened. Gamer. Gay G C A R M my E wife R what okay. Do not like this guy. He said angers me. There's nothing wrong with Keith. All of them do. I shouldn't look at thirty year old men and want to give them a swirly. I mean Eugene's like thirty six. And Keith uh, Keith and Zach are lookers. Why are you playing with me, bitch? Don't play with me. Like, stop it. I shouldn't have to look at a 30-year-old man. To be honest with you. To be honest with you. They made their life at 30, if I'm going to be honest with you. Even if you don't think they look the greatest, to be honest with you, they're doing a lot more than you normally think. Like, you know, if they were 20 years old and someone asked them, hey, in 10 years, where do you think you're going to be at and stuff like that? I'll tell you one thing. They probably ain't thought they were going to be at this point, but they are. <laughs> they are at this point. In the episode where they got their T levels checked and he had the most potent sperm, clearly that was foreshadowing. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all really need to do an ounce of Googling before y'all talk. Keith didn't do anything. It was another one. Right. I'm not ashamed to say that sometimes I just whip out uh, children dying in our schools. Oh my god. I don't know for this dude. I think this is the first time I've seen this pic without something photoshopped into the frame. Ooh. Do you know why I felt extra bad for Ariel? She spoke in one of the videos about being insecure because she was older than that. So it really hurts my heart that he cheated on her with someone much younger. Yeah. Oh, fuck, bro. No, honestly, someone, like, there was one YouTube video where someone mentioned that cheating, you'd have to, you'd have to have a level of hatred for your partner. 
for you to really cheat and not give a fuck and know some details that your partner has that really hurts them and you still do what you do. You have to have some level of hatred towards them. And I was just like, you know what? I kind of feel that this is right. Like, if hatred is a very strong word and meaning, so probably a level of real bad disliking for your partner to do this, you know? Because... Alex is younger than Ned himself. Like, she's not even the same age as Ned, I don't think. She's younger than Ned. So, they're right. He he really did cheat on his wife with someone even younger than both of them, bro. Like, why did you do that? Now, I want to know what hurts more. In the old age video, she said, I mean, I imagine us going old together. And he had to go and ruin it. <laughs> right! And some of my poor Ariel deserves so much better. She did. He had everything. A wife, beautiful kids, a marriage, career, family, like everything and he still ruined it it wasn't good enough for him <laughs> what's wrong with him bro he's never satisfied that's the problem no nope. isn't ariel 36 and that is 35 and Alex is 30 it's not that much why would you be insecure about being one year older than your husband this makes it sound like she's 40 plus it does make it sound like she's 40 plus i don't know i guess it can't be appearances wise you know because if I'm being honest with you, both Ned and her look like they are 40 plus. Um, and Alex, Alex looks 28. So for her to be 30 is pretty accurate. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I would, but I feel bad plugging under another person's account. Alex is 31, so not too much younger. The fact that he cheated is bad enough. Both he and Alex suck, and neither deserve any sympathy. Ariel, her kids, and Will, Alex's former fiancé, do the... See, that's the sad part with Alex's former fiancé. You know, we all feel bad for Ariel, and I sure as hell do. You know, however, I feel like we don't even mention him. Like, we don't even mention Will Thayer. Like, that's his name. His name is Will Thayer, and he was... It was fun to get married, you know? And then he has to find out that his wife wanted to do hot girl summer with a married man. I'm like, I can't. She wanted to feel even younger than she already is. Like, what's wrong with you? Where are y'all finding her age, really? I also feel terrible for her because she just wasted so many years of her life loving him and caring about him. Her and her kids deserve so much better. Honestly, honestly. You know, there are people out there who get cheated on who you think they never get cheated on. You know, you never thought Beyonce would get cheated on. You never thought Nia Long would get cheated on. And yet here they are getting cheated on, you know. And then some people like mention like, oh, you know, you know, it may not just be that. It may have something to do with them as well. They may not have been the best wives or this, this, that, and the third. Yeah, uh, relationship goes both ways. If one person cheats because they really had a problem with you and stuff like that, they either saw no way of telling you this or something like that. The only way I could see someone truly cheating or finding solace in something else is if they're in an abusive relationship where they can't escape. Like, it's hard for them to escape because they fear you coming after them once, like y'all break up you they start trying to find where you live at they start stalking you they start doing like you're truly afraid of your relationship that's where i could see you cheating not saying like oh it's the most correct thing but that's where i really can see a person cheating and semi seeing it as valid but in these situations it's like no you just did it just for fun like i can't i can't stop committing when you are not ready you know if you still feel like you are young and energetic enough to be sleeping with just about anybody, don't commit. Don't get married. You know? Just keep fucking around. Or if you just want a boyfriend or girlfriend, like, you know, yeah, that's cool and all, but let them know in advance, like, hey, you know, if anything, go on. Or if I'm feeling some type of way, uh, I may, we may have to break things off and stuff like that. Like, let it be known. The fuck? Communication is so important. People don't care about that anymore nowadays. It's like, ugh, God, damn, bro, hey, Jesus. Damn, this is, like, random, but someone was just like, you have to understand, working at BuzzFeed from 2014 to 2017 was like being part of Suicide Squad. Sheesh. What? Why? If you had five free minutes, you would get pulled into a video to try Deer Penis for the first time. Ooh. Hillary Duff glitter bombing you in the office. Going undercover to nail a Hollywood predator because you were the only twink in the office. One time, Salma Hayek 
crashed a meeting i was running i interviewed a deer that dressed the watermelon we also had a co-worker who was so crazy he ended up live streaming the january 6th insurrection a few years after leaving the company what in the world what's going on it's worth noting that everybody who worked at buzzfeed between 2013 and 2016 is deeply cursed damn damn why are we just sending this at the same time we must betray protect quinta from this buzzfeed curse yes protect quinta get her out of there right now oh my gosh there's time in my life but i learned what freedom was and what it meant to fight for it was fucking insane that they made us eat a greyhound for a youtube video that never even came out i chalked it all up to it being my first job out of college now i'm not so sure y'all y'all going through the trenches with this shit need all ex buzzfeed from this era to get together for a dramatic docuseries yes make some money with it imagine fire fest but the yellow omg circle oh wow anyway back to the thing get your motherfucking ass off my motherfucking free radio right the fuck now <laughs> Yo, 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 the kids. That ass whooping fun of even. Ooh, brutal. <laughs> Net declassified divorce survival guide. Ooh. I'm laughing at that. Oh, gosh, bro. Kids nowadays have so much freedom. I'm not saying, like, whooping's always the outcome or always the, like, like, it's always the, the option and shit like that, but y'all don't understand my generation, okay? Y'all, if you if you take offense, you don't understand my, my generation. I'm sorry, woman, but y'all gotta start cheating. Play some offense, because what the fuck is this? <laughs> don't do that. That is awful. Uh, I shouldn't be laughing. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but I am. I, that, I feel like the news never announces really when a woman cheats on a man. Because I've yet to see when the, in the news if someone cheats on them in. Like, the, one of the first times it actually shows us someone at least semi-cheating was literally Amber Heard. Literally Amber Heard with James Frankel. And that wasn't even the most important part of their case. So it's like, that was the one time I've seen where they publicly admitted to, like, not, not her, but they actually showed, like, a woman actually cheated on a man or was abusing a man. That, that was one of, I think it was the first time I've seen it, you know? And was actually conscious enough to know what, what the fuck was going on. Like, bro, how girl, some of y'all was in charge, but now this? Y'all look the Atlanta Falcons right now. Come on, step it up. No, because don't, don't, don't encourage this. Don't encourage this. I'm going to unlike it because don't encourage this because you know why? Alex had that mentality and she cheated on her fiancé. Y'all talking about you girls, you women need to start cheating back. That's what Alex did. She cheated on her fiance. Uh, don't, 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 don't encourage that. Ooh, I would screenshot that if I felt like it. People should try not cheating on their wives. Not cheating on your wife is pretty sick. Period. Yeah, it's Hele Sangwon Jo. Ah, uh, I need to follow him. I love his YouTube videos. If I did a big comparison between him, oh. Uh, Nanami, everyone would get mad at me. Nanami got that fatty. Okay, I keep getting Star Wars stuff of Anakin, and I just don't know why. Okay, sometimes I'm not even looking for this. Ah, uh, damn, the Char guys rebranded their socials. Damn, they were quick. Shit, it's only been a day. <laughs> it's only been a day slut era i say it as i have a consensual workplace relationship i'm sick of all of you man this is gonna go on for this is, it's only been a day man it's only been a day timeline is shady uh something about posting an apology for cheating on instagram and tagging your wife is incredibly funny in a dystopian way oh my gosh bro oh my gosh no way tagging oh not the meme of him not consensual if you're the boss. Disappointed. Actually, it is. Oh, for real, the wording makes me so grumpy. Doesn't take into account the workplace power dynamic at all. It's like, it's both, bro. Like, it is both, low-key. He could have actually threatened her job and placement on there. But then again, the way she kissed him, like, I said in another video, it was like the New Year's Eve type kiss where it's just like you both are just like, eh, fuck it, why not? And then y'all kiss like it looked like a casual kiss like either they're used to it or they're just trying it out for now to see if they like it or not that's what that that's the type of kiss it looked like like you know 
So it's like, it, it doesn't feel like it was completely, you know, power dynamic. It felt like they both knew what they were doing and they both were liking it. Ah, sorry, I stopped speaking for a second. Oh my gosh. Cetera, slut era, I say as I refocus my attention on my wife and two kids. Ooh. I see what you did there, baby. Maybe do an actual honest and gospel take. Oh, this is silly, goofy mood. They say you're telling me you're going to cheat on this lovely lady right here. Love Tiffany Pollard. Um. Look at this. Yes, ma'am. Oh, she always had that nice jawline and cheekbone structure. You go, ma'am. We love it. We sore. Mm -hmm. My bad, I'm eating good. Mm. Forrest, he was British? That's weird. Mm, that American accent, but they just gave up on Harry and made his character British. I can't read. Mm-hmm. Mm Try guys dropping that former for cheating on his wife and not just automatically sticking by their friend is what we like to see. Yeah, we love it. We love it. <laughs> Showing accents have consequences and just because he is a somebody doesn't mean he can get away with it, period. It still must be super hard for them, although I do wonder if Eugene had to be restrained. Eugene probably had to be restrained. <laughs> 100% can have been an easy decision, but it's nice to see his reactions have consequences. Mm. Oh, they put it on Twitter. They put it, I saw it on YouTube before I saw it on Twitter. This is insanity. So he cheated, confirmed. Yep. Yep. I guess now you can rebrand to the Try Guys. Ooh, nah, we want this guy to replace Ned. Nice. This is the person I looked up his Instagram. Look how sweet. And they say he real funny too. Oh, yes. Thorough internal review. I don't know why I imagine the other three sitting in an empty room just going, so he fired him, right? <laughs> Was the woman he cheated with an employee? Why is he losing his job for cheating on his wife? Don't get me wrong. Cheating is disgusting, but why is he getting fired over this? You don't, you, you don't. Get it. Oh, he gave basically every employee a chance to claim a sexual misconduct duck suit. It's more than just a manager dating an employee. It was a co-owner with a subordinate. He could ruin all of their careers with this. He literally could. Holy moly, guacamole. Lovely day. Good lord. Right? Looks like you guys are the try guys now. I don't know. What are you doing here? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> mm. Mm hmm. No, no, sweetie. Try guys is kicking that out. This again. I'm tired of seeing this meme. Cause he really, cause he's got a great dynamic with the other guys. He was at the club with them. Oh my gosh. I'm tired of this. Hmm. Hold on. Here's a video everyone's talking about, and you can see what they're wearing. It also crazy. Wait, what? This was from eight hours. We're watching it. We're dancing and making out the whole night. Oh, it just replayed. Oh, sadly, the actual cheating is not pictured. Damn. I thought it was going to be longer. Is that Quezzy? Quezzy was also being sus. Be chill, don't take pics. Uh oh. Not gonna lie, I kind of dislike how most in the comment be saying to Adam, but like, sweetie, he was there. He probably knew seen was up. He knew what was up. But we gotta know all sides of the story if we ever find out. It's not his job to stop Ned from fucking up, though. It's also not his relationship or his business to involve himself. Yeah, I guess. He could have called him out for fuck's sake. Yes, it is a man's friend's responsibility to call their shit behavior out. I was using other men from being culpable in this too. Jesus. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. You can't make... You can't really force 
this dude to do something without him fighting back with it. But you sure as hell can, like, expose and embarrass this nigga. But it seems like they didn't want to. It's like they were saving him. Stop saving him. He don't want to be saved. <laughs> like, bro. Hmm. Guys, <laughs> they got a spirit Halloween thing over him. That's crazy. Mm. Are they the net you don't aerial when they're employees? She wasn't mentioned in this statement, and he was in the position, so I don't don't know her name. Mm -hmm. Her name's Alexandria. Her? Is it her? Alexandria. Herring, that's her name. Oh my gosh, I went back to Twitter and now it's more shit popping off. When is Hailey Bieber going to address her racist past? Oh my lord. There's so many people who have a racist past. Oh my god. They just all need to come together and just admit that shit. Ain't nothing to hide. People are going to find out eventually. Hmm. Okay, I've held it in for too long, but I gotta say it about the Try Guys. The podcast where Ariel talks about running a fucking bath for Ned to play in with their son and her always doing his laundry has always left a bad taste in my mouth. How does he repair? By fucking cheating, right? Oh my gosh. He's a grown ass man who had everything handed to him, everything he wished for in life. A wife that catered to him and he fucking cheats. Oh my fucking god. And quitting your job and dumping out an ass load of cash to start a new business while your wife is about to have a child and y'all don't have health insurance anymore. The leaps and bounds Ariel went through for him. I just can't anymore. Bro, Ariel needs to leave him, raise her two kids on her fucking own, and honestly make a business when she gets her, um, feet off the ground and stuff like that like i want to see her soar like bro make a youtube she should make a youtube channel you know how many people would subscribe and stuff like that though with youtube i feel like you have to make like a ton of videos and have enough subscribers to actually start getting paid yeah anyway that is it for the video uh -huh. this was twitter chronicles may peace we May peace be with you all for an eternity.